My name is Grant Ferrier and I work in the Glasgow Coffin Factory. Uh, we make all different sizes and styles of coffins for the whole of Britain. Once you've been working there for a while, you don't look at, you don't think of a, a coffin. You just think you're just making something, whether it could be a table or a chair or a coffin. You're just making a piece of furniture. So you don't really think about it as being a coffin. Apart from sometimes you do the wee child's coffins. It's quite, it's, you know, sometimes you can say, oh, you know, you know, that's, that's a shame. Uh, at the time we had the Dumbleen Massacre and uh, I had to deliver the coffins up to Stirling and all the way I drove up there and all the way back I just could not think properly I just couldn't imagine you know how this has happened and if the first thing that came into my head I kept thinking it could have been my children and it could have been Emery's children and I think that day I sort of brought it home to you you know what you are actually doing but a couple of days later, you're just back into the coffin factory making coffins because you, you know, so it's, it's, it's quite, it's quite weird. My oldest son is 18 and a half. He is now doing his apprentice electrician. Uh, he loves his job, which is great if you love your job. Very similar to myself when he was 16, he didn't really know what he wanted to do. And I sort of said to him, I think in this day and age, if you can try and get a trade behind you. And uh, he works for a local company in East Kilbride. My youngest boy is 16, uh, all he wants to do is play football, which most boys do. Uh, he would like to be a PE teacher, but apart from that, he doesn't know. Some people in my work probably think I'm a, a pain in the backside, I better edit that. <laughs> uh, but I think it'd be nice to remember, you know, that you're a trustworthy, honest person and you just like to try your best to get on with everybody in a workplace. We're always in a big workplace, there's always some people don't get see eye to eye with you, but that's just normal life in a factory.